You guys, I have a really unique design choice that I chose for the door. You guys want to see it? I feel like we should have put like an O1 on the door. I'm going to go with this two-tone door. I know the rest of the truck is red and white, but I'm just going to keep this silver. Should we put like an O1 on the door? Yes. O2. Oh, uh, back. totally kidding. As you can see, we're in Steven's garage. And we have to get these doors on here, I think mainly because he's running out of room in this garage. So, goal tonight, on this freezing cold night, is to install the doors. Woo! Doors. Shit. Cab. Make it happen, Josh. So I will say I am really nervous to install these tonight because when we tried to dry fit these doors onto the cab the last time, like before we sent off the paint, like when it was still all rusted and nasty, they weren't fitting. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know, but everyone's stress level this time is going to be much higher because obviously we're not trying to scratch anything. Um, so let's hope for the best and maybe it'll be easy. She thought she was in control. How wrong she was. We got new door hinges. You're a plot to please get out of here. This girl breaks everything. Easy. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? High stress. This is not gonna be fun. My whole life is high stress. Please not gonna be fun. Around. <laughs> I'm swaying around. <laughs> I'm swaying around. Is this just like a good enough, or is this uh, we're trying to actually get it on? No, we're trying to fit, fit it. Not good enough. Why wasn't I filming? The door almost just fell off. <laughs> it almost well, only counts if we're two hand grenades. And a couple oh. of That too. Told you when you weren't filming something dramatic. It didn't dramatic even come out of a hole. Relax. <laughs> you guys are tense. Sometimes, sometimes it almost flips off. You know? <laughs> <laughs> get a little crazy. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen a bunch of grown men this careful with anything? It's kind of close to the The answer is no. Let's see. Hang on. Let's see where we're at. I, I'd say, boys, pretty good shot the first one. Set come up forward. Up and forward, right here. So on the bottom, pull out. And so the, you you want to go up with the with the main hinges. Yep. And then you need to come up a half inch. Yeah. Now how <laughs> we, how, what do we got for forward? How much adjustment we got in there for forward? This part is not fun. So do you want me to tie the bottom here? Snug the bottom and then let's try to loosen up top. To be fair though, that's the closest we've ever had it since the door has come off. Yeah. So oh, we finally got the right hinges in it. I'm feeling better. Not good, but better. New hinges, so the... but fitting the door is one of the things that nobody tells you is the, the most annoying yeah. part. It's gonna have to come back out. Did the whole door? Right now. Too tight? Yeah, you get tight right there. Just a little. A few days later. We are back in the familiar Josh's garage. Uh, and the truck is here. And you might be wondering why. As fantastic of a job as Josh did, spending hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on the door, we decided it looked a little bowed. So we did run down to Holly, or I guess I should have run up to Holly and purchase a aftermarket repop door. We got it where it would fit in the door. It was a little low. We think where the bottom hinge rusted completely through and just never sat right and all the weight was on the front, it actually bent that down. And we've tried and tried to get it just to fit just right. And it's not. So we got it, we fitted it to where it was close before we painted it, but we thought we were going to be able to get it further than that and we're not body guys and it didn't go the way we wanted it to so here we are but we tried <laughs> we tried so anyways we are going to be using this door Stephen obviously has to repaint that um as you see the wood as we talked in the last video we're gonna have to put that in later it's a few um, little things 
But you know, it's starting to come together. You're starting to see what it's gonna look like a little bit. You use your imagination. And all of the parts have been brought over from Steven's garage, which gives me major anxiety. Because I don't know why we're transporting everything and we're, you know, you running the risk of it getting scratched. Well, he needed to paint it and didn't want to overspray it. So uh, it's all here. Gang is all here. In our car community, Josh just called one of them Matt Three. They're all numbers. <laughs> They're all numbers. In all seriousness, I feel like something nobody talks about on these belts are these dang freaking doors. Don't build an Apache. These doors are brutal. Um, so obviously, you guys saw us struggling to get all the doors fitted. This side we could never get right. Um, so after doing a bunch of research, actually, our research was calling over Matt Three. What he did is came in here and he cut this open, took out eighth of an inch roughly, uh, and then 16, maybe. welded it back together. And now it is a perfect fit with our new repop door. It's a glorious sight. So this is going to have to go back to paint, back to Steven. He's going to have to fix the cab, repaint the door. And we're going to say SOS to this guy. Josh, how upset are you that you work so hard on that door and we just bought a new one? It happens. You're a very good sport about this. That's part of it. You guys, Josh spent hours on that door. I'm happy one fits. <laughs> Such a team player. Yeah, same. That's, <laughs> we're happy it just fit. That, that's where we're at here. Freaking these doors, you guys. It has been a journey to say the least. <laughs> we have Matt 3 on the way. The last thing that we have to do over here is fix. There's a gap at the bottom of the door where it meets the cab. Just a little bit wide. So he's going to come in and fill that in. This right here is just a little bit wider than we'd like it to be. You can see it is narrow down through here. But then as you get down here, it gets a little bit wider. So he's coming in to fill that in. But otherwise, chef's kiss. This is absolutely beautiful. And we are so, so, so glad that the door drama and situation is done. Matt 3 has arrived. Move this over just here. Move. Oh, oh, maybe I'll just move it back. He literally the rock star and saved our whole build because this door was not cooperating. So, are you going to fill that gap at the bottom? I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. I think I'm going to cut it. Cut it? Oh, I can't watch. Ain't nothing more I like than cutting it. Oh. Paint, oh my gosh. I'm going to lose right it. I can't watch. I can't watch this anymore. Eek. holding my breath I hate to say it but I'm just hopeful that this is the last little hiccup that we run into this was a big hiccup <laughs> first the bedwood then the doors but you know what it's all solved it's fixed I'm hoping it's smooth sailing from here and we can start putting this thing back together and our new deadline is Christmas hopefully it's done before Christmas but you guys we are getting so close thanks for tuning in guys this was Baby Proof Rides we'll catch you guys next time